Hello, welcome to the introduction to proofs video for number theory, GCD, and LCM. My name is Professor Michael Polyuk. The learning objective for this video is by the end of this video, you should be able to relate the GCD and LCM to the prime decomposition of a number. Our motivation is that number theory is concerned with the divisors of natural numbers. Two natural numbers A and B are considered to be not similar from a number theory perspective, if they share no common divisors except one. So two natural numbers always have to have at least the factor one in common, but if that's the only thing they share, we'll think of them as being not similar. In this video, we will explore the definitions, and in the next video, we will see a fast way for computing common factors. Let's start out with two definitions that might be familiar to people. For natural numbers A and B, the greatest common divisor, or GCD, of A and B is the largest natural number n such that n divides A and n divides B. We denote it as GCD AB. The least common multiple, or LCM, of A and B is the smallest natural number where A divides n and B divides n, and it's denoted LCM AB. These definitions for GCD and LCM also make sense if A and B are integers that aren't both zero. Take a moment now to compute the following table. Compute the GCDs and LCMs of these pairs of numbers. Take a moment to do this now. For four and six, the greatest common divisor is two. Well, two is the only divisor of four, two and four are but four doesn't divide six, so two is the greatest common divisor. And their least common multiple is 12. So 12 is both a multiple of four and a multiple of six, and it's the smallest multiple that does that. For 12 and 18, their greatest common divisor is six. The only other divisor possible would be uh, 12, uh, but 12 doesn't divide 18. And their least common multiple is 36. Now for one and 20, the greatest common divisor is only, there's only one choice, it's one. And the least common multiple, there's only one choice again, it has to be 20. Now take a moment to compute a times b and see if you notice anything. When we multiply a and b together, we get these three numbers. And these three numbers show up in other places they also show up as the GCD times the least common multiple. So, so two times 12 is 24, one times 20 is 20, and six times 36 is 216. So some other observations we can make about the GCD and the least common multiple are that the GCD is always smaller than the least common multiple, and the GCD is always smaller than A, and the least common multiple is always larger than B. So let's take these facts in. So if A and B are natural numbers, the greatest common divisor is always less than or equal to the least common multiple. If you multiply the GCD and the LCM together, you get the product of A and B. And the GCD is always smaller than A and B, and the least common multiple is always larger than them. The major idea uh, for us now is that numbers a and b are given to us as products of primes, then computing the GCD and the LCM is easy. So the form in which the number is given to us matters a lot. Let's see why that's true. Take a moment now to compute the GCD of two to the five and two to the seven. This question is made easier by the fact that we know all of the factors of two to the five. It's two, 2 squared, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, and 2 to the 5, and 1. Those are the only choices for its divisors. So now we can just run through that list and see which of those things divide 2 to the 7. Well, they all do, so the answer to this should be 2 to the 5. That's the largest possible thing we could take because it uses up all of 2 to the 5, and then there's two other factors of 2 in this term. This proposition can be expressed more generally. There's nothing special about two, five, and seven here. So let P be a prime, 
if a is a power of a prime, p to the n, and b is a power of the same prime, p to the m, and capital N is the smaller of the two exponents, then the GCD of these two numbers is p to the smaller exponent. So in the previous example, p was 2, n was 5, m was 7, and so the GCD was 2 to the smaller power, 5. So as an application of this, this can be used to compute the GCD of two numbers that are already given to us in prime factorization by taking the minimum power of each prime. So the previous one was for uh, one prime power, but you can also do this if you have numbers that are written as products of primes. Let's see an example of this. Our first term is 2 to the 6 times 3 to the 8, and the second term is 2 to the 5 times 3 to the 10. So let's find the GCD of this first by looking at the powers of 2. Well, the minimum power for the powers of 2 is 5, so the GCD will be 2 to the 5, and now we take the minimum power of the 3s, which will be 3 to the 8. So the GCD I claim is 2 to the 5 times 3 to the 8. You should check for yourself that this number really does divide both of these things. As an exercise, come up with a similar method for computing the least common multiple of two numbers that are given in prime factorization, and then use this to prove the fact that the GCD times the least common multiple is AB. If you do this, you'll have a very deep understanding of GCD and least common multiple. This leads us to a natural question. If it's easier to find the GCD when numbers are given in their prime factorization, is it easy to find the prime factors of a number? We'll take a moment to make a guess. What do you think? Well, here's an, an example for you. This used to be a $75,000 exercise. There was a group that would pay you $75,000 to answer this question. So this number, which is called RSA 896, it has 270 digits, and you're told that it has exactly two prime factors but no one other than the people who set the problem knows what those are. So if you can find the two prime factors of this number, um, you would have won $75,000. The fact that it's called RSA 896 is related to an encryption method. So this should help convince you that finding the prime factors of things are hard. It turns out that this problem is even hard for computers. Let's take a moment to reflect. How can you find the GCD of two numbers? How can you easily find the least common multiple of two numbers if you're given their prime decompositions? Is it easy to find the prime decomposition of two numbers? What's the largest prime number you can find, including using software if you want? Thank you very much, and have a great day.